Good thing I'm here on time. Looks like I'm here. The Redfern has been in business in Rochester since 2013. In the words of the owner and founder, Andrea Peros. Everything that we eat as vegans is exactly what you eat. It's just the vegan version. Say burgers, um, quesadilla, mac and cheese, um, you know, chicken sandwiches, chicken Caesar salad. All of those things, we just make the vegan version. Peros turned vegan originally because she developed an allergy to dairy. Was, although I never really set out to do this, um, it kind of found me. Um, I always say that I feel like I got that allergy for a reason. After that, the ethical, environmental, and health reasons followed. Her passion for veganism grew from that into founding this restaurant. There was no place to go to eat, really. Um, a lot of places didn't have options at the time. I mean, this was back in 2009, 2010. Um, a lot of places didn't have options. So through the Owl House, I met a lot of vegetarians and vegans, and I knew that there was a big um, demand for it in Rochester, and I felt that if I opened an all-vegan place, that we would be successful. According to Peros, at the time, there were only two vegan restaurants. Now there are a couple more full-time vegan places with dozens that have vegan options in the Rochester area. The Redfern continues to succeed, especially with delivery orders flying out the door, but they don't forget their roots and their supporters. Actually, that's always been part of our uh, business plan is to give back to the community that supports us. You know, how can you not? And this year, they're celebrating with a year of vegan giving. Every month, they give $1 of a certain menu item to a local charity that helps animals. In January, it's One Love Pet Adoptions. They raised $400. In February, we're featuring Rochester Hope for Pets. Her purpose is through giving back, supporting other vegan initiatives, but her greatest job award is simple. For me, it's just watching people come in here and being like, I can eat anything on this menu. They don't have to question, they feel safe here. Um, anything on the menu they can eat and enjoy. It, you know, I just feel like I'm um, doing something I love and I'm helping people and animals along the way, so that means so much to me. Dan Gross, News 8.